So here's a little thing I found in DCS World 2.5. Um, I guess also the uh, previous DCS World version mission editors had this problem too. But for some that don't know, you can actually select multiple groups and copy and paste them. Uh, you can do that by selecting a group, holding down shift, and then double click the next group. But there's a problem right there. When you click on this one, it just disappears and it happens intermittently. You could get lucky and get all of them. Let me try again. So I'm holding down shift and double clicking the next groups. You have to single click the first one and it just doesn't work after that one. So even if I do this one first, it's probably going to go away. So click this one, hold down shift, double click the other groups. It's kind of working. Somewhere it's going to mess up, probably. Almost messed up there. And you could misclick like that, or this group just made it all go away. But there's a surefire way to select everything. So a surefire way of doing this is the same way, except we're going to do something a little different. Click the one you want to start with first. Make sure you're holding down shift is normal. Click a different one than the one you want to select. And then click once on the one that you want. So click once on one you don't want on a different one. And then click once on the one you do want to select. So once on another. And then once on the one that you want. If you notice on the right side, the text changes a little bit. So I'm going to do this for all these. And it's a surefire way to make sure you select all the units that you want. Make sure you don't click outside of it, or else it'll deselect everything. So what happens if you run out to the last one? Well, you kind of need another one to click on to make sure. But once you have all these selected, I can do Control C and then Control V. And I can keep doing this. There are my groups. Awesome. But this is what's really powerful. So since 2.5 has all the maps integrated, I can actually go ahead open a new mission, say this map here, let it load. So this is a completely different mission on a completely different map. So I'm going to do control V here and watch what happens. Takes a while. There it is. So all the stuff from the other map you can port over easily. So that way all your groups that have specific names can easily be ported over to other maps and you don't have to do much. Uh, creating new groups from scratch. And that's it.